so today in this video uh, i'll discuss about the activity files uh, for physics exam uh, so i'll also share you the link of uh, this file right you can download this file and uh, uh, ha have an idea that how to write uh, uh, the activity file because uh, activity file is mandatory for this year um, there are two sections basically there are two sections basically um, in activity if you see the CBSE syllabus you can see there are two sections section A and section B okay so section A and section B there are two sections and uh, with these two sections you have to uh, from each section you have to write three activity right uh, from section A and from section B also three so in total you have to write about uh, minimum six activities if you can write uh, more than uh, six also it's not it's also uh, means uh, no problem it's good right but minimum six you have to write and also you have to submit activity files during your exam and also one activity you have to uh, your one activity you have to perform during the exam also and Bhaiba may be asked uh, from the activity so this year that's why activity is important uh, for your exam for your board exam that is uh, um, that already this practical exam have started in some school and if your exam is not started yet so this file you have to make, it, uh, make so you should to make it uh, how will you make you can make in the practical uh, record book also like this type of record book your class classmate or something so this type of record book also you can write uh, or you can write in channel file or uh, in a um, separate uh, file also so it depends upon your school uh, instruction of your teacher so you ask your teacher that what you will do uh, which file you should write but uh, fill up the index as you have done in case of experiment also so similar way you have to uh, proceed the uh, file for the one project file i have uploaded and uh, you can go through that in the last video i have uh, uh, i gave you an idea that how to write uh, and uh, project file so you can also go through that uh, and um, some of the experiments also i have uploaded so you can have an idea that how uh, what are the means how to proceed in an experiment uh, some of the experiment file also i am planning to upload uh, let's see because time is also less already exam started anyway so this activity file um, you can make it and uh, as you can see these are the index okay so these uh, assemble uh, to assemble the household circuit this is these are the from sec section a activity right uh, to assemble the components of a given electrical circuit so you see that which activities uh, are suitable for you because there are list around seven eight activities are there from seven eight activities you see that which activity you can do easily or which, what are the components what are the apparatus that are available in your uh, lab okay you discuss with your teacher so that it will be easy because in the exam also you have to do one and five hour may in the external may ask some questions also right so um, don't write here and there if uh, because we have chosen some of the easy uh, activities right uh, these are easy to uh, conduct like uh, like the case of uh, here you can see to draw the circuit uh, diagram of a given open circuit comprising at least a battery right register key uh, so just a connection of a open circuit um open circuit and closed circuit right so it is easy so that's why we have chosen this so you discuss with your teacher which are um, what are the uh, activity that they have decided if these are the activity they have decided so you can write from here also or just you can write from the study menu uh, your um, lab manual also any of the manual and uh, perform the activity draw some diagram and if some observations are there you can write the some observation but activity i don't think there would be any calculations uh, so just you have you might have some observations so how will you write the activity let's uh, go to the next page uh, so these are the index 
okay so this is the first activity let's say this is from section a right this activity is from section a uh, the aim of the activity you can see the assemble the household assemble the household circuit uh, comprising uh, three bulbs on and off uh, switches a fuse and a power source right so just this is the assembling so you should uh, ask your teacher that to give or you if you uh, at in your home these are these uh, apparatus are available these materials are available so you can um, uh, you can also perform these uh, activities at home also so just uh, it's a household circuit uh, you have to uh, connect uh, with three bulbs and uh, you have to one fuse power source means any of the battery you can take and you have to uh, take three on and off uh, switches and you have to assemble them right how will you assemble these three bulbs so this is the activity so very simple activity right so just you, you will you can write in this way like you have written for the practical experiment same way you can write right or no no issue for that m then apparatus what are the apparatus you are using right and um, then you can write the theory or you can write or just you can write directly procedure also no issue concept and procedure you can write so what are the thing uh, that are used and you can draw the diagram how you have con connected three bulbs all these things you can make one circuit diagrams like okay so then you can uh, uh, write the procedure what are the procedure you have uh, followed to connect right connect the bulbs uh, b1 b2 b3 in series with switches s1 s2 respectively and connect each set uh, in parallel with each other okay connect the main main supply so a uh, 10 or uh, 12 volt battery uh, with a 10 and 10, 12 volt battery just connect these things and uh, check what are the um, use the fuse also and um, check the circuits once again ensure that the circuit is complete and it's glowing right gradually increase the current uh, so like this you, you you can write and you can perform this activity right and this diagram is for i think uh, yeah for the second activity the second activity is to assemble the components of a given electrical circuit so voltmeter emitter how will you connect like voltmeter connected parallel emitter connected in series so just you will show you will you'll bring some apparatus in your lab just connect them and draw the diagram and just write down there what the interference of what are the um, uh, your uh, result you are getting out of your uh, activity right the uh, procedure you can write directly uh, no need to write the theory so connect all the components right then what are the um, what are the result of your activity you can write like that so this is activity number three to draw the diagram of a given open uh, given open circuit and um, comprising at least a battery so a circuit will be given just you will draw the circuit diagram for an open circuit and a closed circuit let's say this is open one open circuit and uh, you should know the um, symbol for each of the materials that's it just a circuit diagram will be given and you have to draw them in open circuit and closed circuit with using the symbols you should know that these are the symbol for battery right this is plus this is minus these are the symbol for resistor all these things you know in class 10 right bulb symbol like this so your key symbol right so like this you the, if all these components are given and open circuit and closed circuit this is open one if a dot is there now key is placed it's a closed one like this you should draw two diagrams basically nothing much about this activity to identify diode led uh, register and capacitor this is from section b now section b started so this is from section b to identify a diode led uh, uh, a register and uh, the capacitor from a uh, mixed uh, collection of such items so you can with the breadboard you can uh, identify them forward bias and reverse bias diode will uh, be working or led will also glow when it is in forward bias condition so just you can solve connect them in a breadboard and draw the circuit diagram also right and you can write what are the inference of 
which uh, why it is led so just you will write some of your conclusion for that am apparatus then diagram if required and conclusion nothing much or sometimes if some um, concepts requires some tabulation some data so you can make one simple small table also right this is how you can write the your activity so six activity you have to write uh, this is activity number six right to observe the diffraction pattern this one also i have done one activity you can see we with the two blades right you can take uh, you can take uh, two blades near by near right and you can incident light uh, in the thin gap this is slit or thin gap then you will observe the diffraction pattern the bright uh, the bright the dark bright dark bright dark with central maxima you will get the diffraction pattern you can draw the diagram and uh, you can do the activity also with two blades and with a narrow gap right so like this you can write six activities uh, this is the example of the six act, some of the six activities uh, from the list list of section a and section b so you can download this again i'm saying the pdf i'll just uh, upload and uh, give you the link in the description so from the last description you can download and you can have an idea how to write this uh, file all whatever i have shown here uh, will be in the that uh, file pdf file so you can download and you can use uh, um, right so but uh, don't uh, take it so lightly because this one these are the impressions and if you not submit this uh, activity experiment so it will not have a good impression and you will not able to get uh, good marks for that so 30 marks you should uh, not neglect and you should get the full marks that's what i you uh, wish and uh, so see you in the next video probably with some experiment uh, some experiment file i'll try to um, come in the next video thank you